Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to week 22 of our season two. My GM mode here, WWE 2K24 on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Uh, for those that are watching here on the uh, YouTube, we do record these each and every Wednesday and Saturday following AEW Dynamite and Collision. And then uh, for those watching on Twitch, these are rebroadcasted up as YouTube videos this, the following Friday and the following Tuesday following the individual tapings here. So got her going on. We've been fighting through season two here. If you guys were here last week, I'm pretty sure we had our worst week ever on the stream here. Our highest match was two and a half stars. Our lowest match was one. Uh, it was a real head shaker after the PLE, which was a, outside of WrestleMania, probably was our best ever with uh, us getting four, fives and fours all the way through there. And then, uh, yeah, so we got a bit of a rebound to do here. We got a little bit of a formation of a WrestleMania card to put together here. We only got three weeks to WrestleMania. So not only do I have to start working on certain things, I also got to work on screwed over my neighbor because I got plenty of those power cards here and I should start using them as we get closer to WrestleMania. But yeah, I, enough yapping about it. Let's get into this. All right, so we have to have one TLC match this week. It'll give me a... Eh, I'm not too worried about it. Season challenges. Change the role of Ted Super... Oh, I could do... I might do another change yet, but... Use those cards, absolutely. Well, let's see what we got. We got beginner's luck. This special promotion is the one I want to save. Injury rehab. I don't need any of these injury rehabs because I don't have anybody injured. Last man standing match. Veto champ. Let's book our card and then we'll see what we can do with some of these here. So, in terms of rivalries, let's see what we got here. Jaden Slugger's a level three. Jaden Now's a level three. Dragonov and Rollins a level two. McDougal Mysterio, I do want to finish that off. And I've been thinking about this. The way we're going to work out... Uh, the whole Sean Lorenzo thing going on. I think we're going to do that via. I, I think we're going to do that via a four way match. I or a triple threat one way or the other. We're going to we're going to keep these two involved yet. We're going to get Shaw involved in that, too. But I don't see. Okay, the shakeups that I worry about. Journal. Let's see, what we got the journal before we do anything else. Told Ilya he partnered with Guther to tag with the next three weeks. That we might be able to do right away here. Clint's contract expires next week. And everything else is done. So. Okay, so I have a little bit of a idea what I want to do here. I talked about wanting to set up a new opponent for Blair Davenport. So what I want to do here actually is take Scarlet after her hell of a job last time. I want to flip her to a face. And then I'm going to get a call out promo having the champ call out said Scarlet. I want to see if this works. Because if this works, 
we got our women's feud for Mania, and we will get it to work in that amount of time. They got the stamina for it, so I can keep them going here. If I put the role change on Scarlet, I can't have them have a match. So I might as well do this call a promo right now. If I could get Scarlet into a match at this point after the flip, I would probably put the match together right now and do it there. So, all right, so we got that. Our main event tonight, I think we're going to... McDougal's got 16 stamina. I'm not too worried about it because, well, I got those injury cards, so I might as well use them too. Where is Dom? They're both going to be pooched here. I'll, I'll use one of those. Uh, I'll use one of my uh, help pre physio cards on, uh, on Dom. Clint, I'm not as worried about because the rivalry's already done for the tag team. Let's see what else we could grow here. Oh, we were going to do that tag match. Let's. Gunta and the champ. Versus Rollins. Rollins and Mello. Any specialties? Stamina's there. We could lit. I could always get the talk next week, so let's do the tornado tag because it is a specialist match. What else is there? Oh, there's backstage brawl, but we don't really need that right now, so. Let's see what we can do for the ladies now. Well, definitely we're going to get Cora involved in a match up here. I almost want to see if we could cheat again. Cora and JC Jane taking on Ivy Nile and Billy Slugger. Everybody's got a rivalry. Everybody's got an argument. This could actually turn out to be so decent here. That and the fact if I get up to level fours, I might be able to use them to finish off feuds properly. Do I want to do... Let's do a tables match just to get that a little cooler here. And then, yeah, what else do we have available here? Let's check the stamina. Let's go stamina order just to see who's left over. Ruthless and Henley maybe again? No, we had that last week. I don't want to do it again. I would like to get Trent a match. I would like to get one of those guys a match. I was going to say Trent a match, but let's... We got a heel bruiser available. This is all the ones that I pay for free here. Do we want to go in and start diving into some, some bigger money here? And start investing in maybe some free agents. Or do we just want to stick with what we have here? Maybe we... I'd almost say let's do a fatal four-way here.
pretty ruthless. Trixie Gambit. I'm just looking at this. <sighs> I'd like to get Becky somebody. That's the thing. Becky's like my top rest. Like in terms of popularity, Becky's number th like in the top five here. Maybe we just do this as a regular match right now. I'd like to get Becky another match, but... Argus is our gassed. I got a way to fix this. This match is going to be trash anyway. I do want to advance the feud, so let's do it that way. Baron, I don't care, because if Dom's out, Baron's out, my tag titles are garbage. I'll live with it. I'll risk the stamina loss with Becky here, so. So if this works out, I'll be able to get that title feud going. We got that run in. I'll use a uh, pre-match physio there. Give that to Dom. I do have the health spot I can pick up. That I can use. Ugh. Without the run, it doesn't make much sense here to do this match. Huh. Maybe we don't do this cage match this week. We do it next week. I already used the... Uh, we'll put this as our main. Put this as our opener. I will put Dom in a match. Just, to, just because I wasted the card but I'll give him a post Malone in a regular match I'm going to have to see if I can get a heel giant. I think I'm going to see if I can book a heel giant here. We got this money for a scout. It's only good to find. I 
You know what? We got three weeks left. Let's see if we can get some idea. Stacks versus shot. Problem is, that's face face. I need a heal. But I think I might throw a triple threat in there just to. Let's see what we can get, though. Oh, oh. These are all level 10 guys too, right? What do you think, Zodiac? Is it worthwhile picking one of these guys up? Even if I pick, like if I pick Dijek up for a week, it's 16 grand. And actually, it's 51 to the end of the season, but if I just pick him up one week, it's 16. Do we want him for the rest of the season or do we want him for tonight? 15 for tonight, 46 for the rest of the season. You know what? I'm not afraid to spend a little bit of money. He could end up at a tag title feud. Well, for the amount that we're going to use them, their, their stamina is not going to be a big deal here. So what I might do. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm going to try and see if I can get that extra money here. We're going to use them for tonight. I think we do book that triple threat match, though, that you were talking about. So we're going to get fear. We can get stacks and we're going to get the champ. Non title. This one's going to be an absolute banger, so I'm not even worried about that. Now let's see what we got for uh, power cards again. Argus, I need the best. Sh Clint's going to get. <sighs> Clint could be done next week, so that's not much of a worry for me. They're going to do this to Argus here. And what do we got left? We can only use one card a week, so. Is there anybody 50 popularity? All these guys don't have a ton of popularity here, so. You know what? We've been giving him everything so far. Let's. Maybe I'm just sorry. I, I know this is the most frustrating part when you're watching to see which way you want to go with stuff. I think we'll go there. So he's going to get a 15 boost when we go here. I'm going to use a lot of these cards next week because there's only two weeks left. If I use a bunch next week on the other GMs, they start pounding on me in week 24. I have that special promotion card that will retain most of my fans. So no matter what they do to me, all my fans will still stick around, so. Huh.
Just a little shot off the bow. Might as well. We're not releasing him, so he's going to get that card one way or the other. So we start using these cards up, it might help here. I think we got it, though. Is there any other cards we could buy? Backstage Brawler. 60 grand, but... And no holds. Basically, that would boost Backstage Brawler. No... We're going to have those boosted at Mania anyway, so I'm not even worried about it. All right, I think we got her here. All right, let's just double check this here. Tag team opening match. Post Malone and Dom Mysterio getting ready for that cage match next week. Veer Mahan and Stax Lorenzo, Trent Shaw, Triple Threat, then our main event. This is packed. I have to say this. And if this works out, we're going to be absolutely freaking golden coming into next week. Please work. All right, all the world hates a coward. Let's get to it here. So we get to see our card first here tonight. So right now, Jason Jane has a few with Billy Slugger to level three. Cora Jade has a few with Ivy Nile at level three. Let's do the old-fashioned re wrestling trope and put the two people that hate each other together. And let's see what happens. Once again, everybody, thank you for being here tonight. I truly do appreciate it. Sorry to be so indecisive during the booking because it's sort of like, do you want to do it? Do you not want to do it? And I'll be honest, I put it as a tables match just because I wanted to finish it sooner. Because ta regular... Sorry. Basically, I want the, I want to see if we can push these feuds to a level four between both of them, and if we do, then we just we can either ride them through to Mania or we can blow them off anytime we want. Because yeah, it's just literally the way to go here. The only thing that sucks right now is I don't have anybody for Becky, and I really want to. My my original goal was to have JC Jane taking on Becky Lynch to end up at WrestleMania. And we're going to have to figure out how to do this as we, uh, what we're going to have to figure out who we're going to keep as our brand's heads as we move into the final, uh, the final stretch here. Cause we are, we're only going to get three to four picks of, uh, keepers here. I think in many ways, right now, the way things are going, with the caveat that guys like Trent Shaw are not going to be available to keep, I'm probably looking at stacks. Probably looking at stacks. I'm looking at... Probably a Becky. The only thing about Becky is the fact that she comes at a high price tag. We could probably get her in the draft or we could get one of the other ones. And when I say other ones, I mean like one of the other four horsewomen. Plus, we got the new cards coming in 
as we uh, go forward, or new cards, new talent that's coming in with the global pack that's going to be available in the draft as well. Like, there's a possibility we could end up with a Jade Cargill, a Carlito. And I do understand that this does not make any sense why the tag champ is not teaming with her own partner. The other partner is sitting on the side. I just don't want this to be a tag team feud. That's all I ask. All right, tables match here. JC and Cora should be able to get along for five minutes, right? At least we're hoping so. Cora's already going for it. All right, there's table number one. I would love the AI to be that smart. Mm. Yeah, I know this AI has some interesting quirks to it i really do appreciate though like opening weekend that this was out we had one of the programmers for 2k25 in the chat watching our stream and seeing how it was gonna go we'll wait and see what the announcement date of 2k25's new release is gonna be for gm mode I will try to make sure that we're done season five before that happens. Because as successfully as this has been going here, I, I can't see us not stopping now. Your guys' support has been a lot to me here for this, so. So as much as I'm hoping for a Increase in rivalry here. It seems like the pairings aren't exactly matching up properly. For what there we go. Now we're now we're figuring it out. So, JC, what exactly were you going to do with that table? Billy could have had that one ma that match done. Threw it on her own partner. That's smart. All right, Billy, set it up in the corner. Set it up there. Whatever. That'll work. Got the backbreaker going on here. Double such to the back. I'd be getting the reversal here. I think when we get into season three here, I'm also going to be a little bit more cognizant of trying to get the uh do more role reversals and switch people up and face heal dynamics and all that 
Oh, Cora almost went through the table. I just said no about it. Now into the Thez press. And there you go. I don't know if uh, Ivy actually went through the table, but I don't think it really matters. What kind of score are we going to get for this? I'm assuming it'll be a little bit higher just because of the feuds, the increase for the uh, tables match. The two rivalries, the cohesion. Two and a half. All right, let's see if any rivalries grew out of this. If not, I'm going to be sorely disappointed. at the beginning of the match I did want a tag team feud out of this alright well yeah alright so Scarlet's now a face now let's uh Dirty Dom and Post Malone well Dirty Dom wanted a fight and uh Clint didn't want to fight uh, hey I got a hockey record I took my skate off and tried to stab somebody I'm the only guy who ever did that Thank you for reminding me exactly how I feel about that match right now. Yeah. But Post Malone needs some work. We got to get his popularity up. He's only at 30. Let's see if we can pop him up a little higher. Dom wanted a match. We'll just keep it low. Keep it cool. No real bonuses. I just want a one-star match out of this. I'm really banking on that main event to be really high for, for a score tonight. Spits on the title. Oh, spit shine. Even though he's got a mask on. First time out as champ. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Representing the Judgment Day from San Diego, California. Weighing in at 200 pounds. One half of the SmackDown. There you go. So yeah, I did want to have McDougal here and have this finish off. The only reason Dobbs actually working is I was dumb enough to play the uh, pre-match physio card on him. Before I actually had the card solidified, right? Odds are we're probably going to have to do the cage match next week. Because I... I don't know what we're going to need for a uh, price for uh, Clint McDougal, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Because Post below we can put into a... Well, we can put uh, Post below and... Uh, and what's his face? Uh... Carmelo Hayes. Put them in a tag against Dom and... Or let's bring in one of the... Uh, one of the McAfee guys, just for the hell of it. But yeah, honestly, I don't, I don't know how much we're going to see out of this match here. Post got some moves, though, so... And Post is technically a specialist, so. Huh. 
Starting out hot here. With all the tattoos, it almost feels like both of these guys met together in another location. Watch Post come out win this. Not too smart, though. I love the Todd. Even though he gets caught in the rope. Oh, never mind. That almost seemed intentional. Nice reversal by Mysterio. Quick count out. That'd be more funny. No. Nice drop kick there. So we'll have to see. We got some good feuds going, but. But yeah, if all goes well next week, we will get the, uh, we're probably looking at Dom versus Clint in a cage for our main, Scarlet versus, uh, Blair will be part of the contest as well. Maybe have the women's tag titles defended. See if we can get another team maybe working together. I would like to see Becky get in action, though. Because Becky's morale is real high, and she does well when she's very happy about life. Post is showing up here. Hell of a performance by Mysterio here as we're going along. What's Malone doing? Oh my God. If I was a referee, I'd be going to get that. What the hell was that? Bit of an interesting. Oh my god, out of nowhere. And Dom's busted open. This is not good. Post Malone with the upset victory. Here is your winner, Post okay. Yeah, I think it is his first win. He's putting a hell of an effort, but yeah, this is his first win. What a win pose. We're okay with that. One and a half's good. After the after the record on that last one, this one's okay. Okay. This is the whole thing I'm worried about here. Let's go. You idiot. Maybe it'll show up on the score right after. It's done that before, right? Right, guys? Right? <sighs> Watch Veer get a feud with Trent. Watch Veer get a feud with Trent right now. I need to set up a stack. I want to get Stax and Argus together. 
Going up against Shaw. For the heavyweight championship at WrestleMania. It's nice to see uh, Veer coming to SmackDown. Really sucks how they lack of the lack of use that he got to finish everything off. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring, we're presenting. And I didn't wait six months to debut him. Yeah. We might just bring in somebody special for for Shot Mania if we have to. But it's tough to book enhancement talent as your champion, right? It's a good situation to get in, don't get me wrong, but I'm almost thinking I should have put the title on, let Veer win it, and then he leaves. Lorenzo don't even know that he's got a shot at the title coming up here in a few weeks. If he wins this, he'll he'll get a promo to do that. So I think either way, we're going to get Blair and Scarlett a chance to actually try to get a... get a feud off. The Shaw Stopper. Champion, Trent Shaw. I still can't believe he beat Gunther the way he did. The only thing that would have made it more realistic for me is he put the muscle buster as a finisher. Could have just called him the Shaw Stopper. Be fun to see if uh, Veer wins in like two minutes. Let's go, Trent. Oh, it's a stacks chant. One of the. All right, it's a non-title triple threat match. If you're just going to school right now on the champ. And Stax being the valiant man that he is. Nice right hand. Oh, look at Shaw with the Hurricane Rana. Mahan just way too much. Stacks looking to take advantage. Like, this is his opportunity to show that he belongs in that main event picture here. He actually failed pretty rough against Gunther. But he's looking for a second hand of redemption here. If he can actually get the victory here tonight. You're just getting worked over by stacks here. Nice flying forearm.
and a chop block from from Shaw. He's using some pretty dirty techniques for being the champ and being a babyface champ at that. Fist to the face. Hot shot on that top rope. Uh oh. Veer got a Kindle stick. Shaw blocks it. Near the back. Oh, nice drop kick. And a boot to the face by Shaw. Okay, Shaw trying to take advantage right now. Mahan back in the ring. Shaw butterflying those arms. Mahan waiting for Shaw back in the ring. No good trying to do the uh, flying leg scissors when nobody's there, right? Oh, shot right, right to the back of the head. Quick cover. Stax is going to stop that. What stacks got planned here? Oh, Shaw. Underneath, over the top. Nice power slam. But Veer just waiting, and Shaw's busted open. Nice shot. Oh, over the top. Double sledge to the back. Uh oh. Could this be it? Just a one count. Says little Nate. Now Veer's ready. Uh oh. Veer looked like he was ready to end this and just... Oh, there we go. Veer with the splash. Inseguri. What Shaw got planned here? He's all right, busted open. I don't know how much more he can handle. That cut under the left eye is just, or the right eye, it's got to impair his vision at this point. Side rushing leg sweep. Mahan stuck in the corner. Uh-oh. That can't be good. Northern Lariat by Shaw. And a DDT. But Mahan's right there. Nice falcon arrow. Champ's fighting. Hey, JPJ, how you doing tonight? Hope you're feeling a little better than uh, during your college uh, football game today. 
619 around the post by the champion, Trent Shaw. We're just in the middle of our... Yeah, I, I actually had you on while I was just in the back. I was gonna I was gonna mention something about you being a Patriots fan, so you're used to runs on first, second, and third down. So but I thought I'd be nice. You're already getting angry enough. I've been doing good. Like tonight was actually a really good episode of Dynamite. What did you think of it? I really enjoyed everything put together there. Main event was amazing. Ricochet Mortos. I'm never a big fan of a DQ, but in this one, it makes a lot of sense. I think they set up perfectly for next week. And then our main event, we, we got announced for the fifth anniversary coming up October 2nd. With uh, Ricochet and Will Ospreay, that has to be the main event. If not, let's, let's just blow ourselves away with like unbelievable. I also want to see Wheeler uh, eat, a, eat a pin in five seconds in the trios title match next week. You guys want to blindside me with this crap? Then I'll blindside you with this. To give the tells in a dark order to somebody, just, you know. Somebody nobody expects to win. Watch Fear win, get a feud with Trent, and he's gone at the end of the week. Because we only signed him for one week just because I didn't want to spend the extra money. So the plan here is to eventually Mania is looking like it's going to be a Trent Shaw, Argus the Great, and Stax Lorenzo title match. Just a one count. Jesus. I didn't expect this to take this long. Good thing we got a hell of a main event coming up. Nice head scissors. Some Go for a cover, Shaw. Jesus. <laughs> he grabs a chair and throws it on the ground. I love this AI some days. Sling blade by Shaw into the drop kick. Go for a cover. Seriously. All right. He's supposed to be a cruiserweight, folks. But yeah, we went from our best show at uh, Survivor Series ever to probably one of our worst shows. And this one's not turning out to be great. But we are lining up for Mania, so we are still piecing together. Oh my god. Shaw, hurry up! Focus! Brain Buster! Okay. That ain't gonna help. Viewers right there. But no, uh, in terms of myself, I'm doing good. Uh, big plans coming up for the next few weeks here, so. Got that Pele kick again. Snapmare takedown. Flying fist. This has got to be the point of the match where if you got somebody down, if you get the other guy down, just pin. Like right now. 
See, it's over 10 minutes and the controller died. Sorry about that, chat. Actually, I think it's 30 minutes of not using the controller, but I have to figure it out. I normally use a wired for it, but here's the D. That's going to be it. Stack's going to get the win. And that's setting up for our title match at Mania. And that's what you want to see. Now, Zodiac, you had a great call here of having Stacks versus uh, Trent one-on-one -on -one non-title, but face versus face don't work in this game. And they gave it a two-star match. Whatever. It's a middle of the card. I don't know what to tell you. Melters, Melters have some tequila tonight, I guess. Becky got us 4,500 fans. All right, talk about stacking a main event here. So, Dragunov and Rollins are having a feud right now. Dragunov came up to me this week and said, in the next two weeks, I want myself and Gunther to team up. Recently flipped Dragunov, so... So basically, we're getting Imperium what it should be versus Rollins and Carmelo Hayes. So this is going to be fun. Stax was a champ champ. Needs that shot at some point. Yeah. He's going to get it. Like, that is our match going to Mania. We have to do that. Well, let's get, let's get to this one here. This will be a tornado tag rule. So... I, I like the tornado tag rule for the fact that it's going to go by a little quicker. But we are going to have to start, like, I don't think the tag titles are going to get defended at Mania. I'll be perfectly honest at this point. If they do, it's going to be random Team A taking on the champs. I don't even think that, like, I think uh, Billy Starks and JC Jane would look better at Mania. I think Ivy Nile and, and uh, Cora Jade would look better at Mania. Like those are level fours. McDougal and Dom, I want to get that out of the way. I don't I don't even want to see that anymore here. And the other the other thing I'm worried about right now, we'll find out at the end of this. Is McDougal available anymore? But yeah, next week, we're going to be fired out cards like they're ugly. Just straight up nuts. You have a card, and you have a card, and you have a card. Because if I throw them all out and nobody gives me anything back, they can throw all they want at me at 14. I'm going to just... Uh, I'm going to use that uh, Keep the Fans You Had card. So even if I have to work a high school gym... I'll still keep the same number of fans we had this week. And then Mania is basically a get out of jail free weekend because 
we got the million dollar man card we'll be playing at mania so basically i could use any match i want it won't cost me a dime the same card we had at SummerSlam. so could you imagine guter and Ilya as a tag team right now like everybody was clamoring for that to be what uh what we needed for uh that's what we needed for imperium going forward but i think what they got going right now is actually pretty decent So once again, as we get to our main event, once thank you for stopping by. I truly do appreciate you having you here. Sorry, just answering phones here. I'm part of a few chat groups that need uh, you. I'm just going to straight up. Uh, dealing with bots again. Bots out here. Bots out there. Bots everywhere here. A uh, couple big announcements that we did tonight. Plan is uh, starting with the fifth anniversary, October 2nd. We will be uh, co-streaming our AEW simulcast live on... Uh, YouTube as well as Twitch, our Backbreaker Video YouTube channel. And then the other big announcement we had is when Raw goes to two hours, starting on October 7th, which is Canadian Thanksgiving, we are going to be having Monday Night Football immediately following Raw with uh, Mutant League football for the month of October here, so... Nice little thing to end the year off with. A little bit of football, a little bit of craziness. If you've ever seen Mutant League football, it is a ton of fun. Think WWE 2K with the cards and the changing of stipulations and whatnot. With the... Uh, with the ingenious play of NFL Blitz and all the vulgarity that comes with it. So yeah, this is a tornado tag match, so. I'm just happy that the guys that are supposed to face each other are facing each other. And Rollins just said, nope. So we're not going to get a feud here between Gunter and... Uh, between Gunter and Mello, we already had that. I don't think you get the same feud twice in one season. I don't know if we're going to bring Gunter back for season... For season three here. Hey Seth, your partner's getting beaten up to no end to the rig. Oh God, that was close.
There we go. Now we got a double team coming. So much action in the ring here. You don't know which way they're coming or going here. The lug blower hit so hard that uh, Dragunov bounced into Rollins. That's hilarious. Rollins, you're in a bad spot here, bud. You got the block on, Dragonov. Watch where you're going. You should look at your opponent, actually. I think it would be better if you're going to do a block like that. Oh, the animation worked this time. They tried it last time, and it didn't work so well, so. Torpedo Moscow. Somebody go for a damn pin. There you go. And Mello eats a pin again. It's all Mello does is eat pins, I thought. Here are your winners. The team of Gunther and Ilya All right, well, the team that said they wanted to work together seemed to work rather well together. Mello don't miss eating pins. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what kind of score we got on this. It should be a decent one, I would think. Wow! Four-star main event. Well, that just bailed out our night. I don't think there'll be a rivalry, but I don't really care about that. All right, let's go see what Ra's up to here. Uh, for the five millionth time, Braun Strowman, Jimmy Uso. Strowman wins, three-star... Okay. I wonder how this is going to go. Lita putting herself over. Okay. Champa and Otis versus Stardust and Kit Wilson. Please let this be a four-star match. I hate your game. The last one was three stars. This is two and a half. It sucks. All right, Charlotte with a charity promo. Shayna Baszler and Carmella. Let's see how this one goes. Carmella wins. Non-title, but the rivalry's there. Good to see. No advancement in a rivalry there. That works. In our main event. Tag champ versus U.S. champ. All right, let's see how this one goes. One, two, that's it. Bring it. Level four rivalry, three and a half star match. I'll, I'll give Raw credit. They bailed themselves out like we did tonight. WCW needs a prayer. Let's see how it works. Balor and Prince defending the tag titles against Guerrero and Gargano. Could you imagine that team? Guerrero and Gargano are the new tag team champions. All right, I can, I can live with that. The four-star match. They're already... I think it's already level four, so that just is a waste of a promo. Alexa Bliss, Raquel Rodriguez, Gigi Dolan, triple threat tables match. You'll notice Alexa Bliss is a tag champ, but she's not tagging. Her partner is Kurt. Well, 
her partner was with China. Oh, it's ECW that Piper's out till Mania. Timber, nothing. Nice guy, but nothing. Booker T and Adria Buck versus Karen Cross and Omos. Regular tag. Two and a half star, got a rivalry. Captain Grog, all right, cool. Oh man, would I love to be a fly on the wall for this match. Champion versus champion. Iron Man match. McIntyre Orton. McIntyre is now a champ champ. In a four star match, that's not good. That's not good. Liv Morgan, Jody Garcia, Jody, you always are here. One, two, that's three. Let me hear the bell. But they always get a boost because they're women's matches. Training promo, Miz gets three XP. Candice LeRae, Vicky McLeod. Please be three stars, please be three stars. Uh, Candice LeRae's out of mania Unless they got power cards Right on time there, bud <laughs> Nice work Alright, let's see here Seamus calling on MVP, cool Ronda, Indy, and Sensational Sherry in a triple threat. Ronda's going to win because it's Ronda. Well, shut my mouth. Hartwell and Sherry, okay. At least they got a rivalry going. Logan Paul, yeah, I'm surprised you put yourself over that much. Main event, oh my goodness. Julius Creed versus Jake the Snake with a running by Angel Garza. Jake didn't need the help, but anyway, three stars, so barely better. It looks like everybody's having a little bit of a rough time here, not just me. All right, let's see how this works. Let's go take a look at the report cards. Good booking. Okay, so the tag feud I never wanted. No rivalries except the tag match I didn't want as a rivalry. Well, this was basically a waste of a night. Except for the fact I got to hang with all you guys. Level four. Level one. Level four. Level four. Raw set up for Mania. That's for sure. Amazing booking for WCW. They need it. They absolutely need it. Sucks that they have a champ champ now. And I don't mind a champ champ if it's tag and single, but it's both singles. Ooh. Uh, Booker T. Buck. That's okay. That has nothing. Okay. And yeah. And ECW. Good booking. Level two. Larray out. Level one. Nobody did much this week. I'm actually surprised. Let's go take a look at the overall numbers here. 108. We've got 35,000, so our fans went up. We're almost up to a half a half a mil. Gunter and Ilya are an incredible tag team. Let's go get those titles off. Let's go get those titles. Even if I have to use the fixed match card on that, I think we put the titles on them. Why not? And let two faces go at it at Mania with them. So th 3958, which is still a hell of a good number. We got to get to 4 million so we get another Hall of Fame card. 118 for Raw, so 48,000. So they're over four. So 246 for money. So they have no money. Stardust and Kit Wilson. Okay. One twenty, so they got forty six thousand and three twenty eight. 
and 110. So 35,000 fans, 253,000 in the bank. So we didn't get any uh, Hall of Fame card because we didn't book a TLC match. Because Raw managed to get the 4 million fans, they have now gotten their third Hall of Fame trophy. So we have officially moved into second place. This looks a little more like what I expected here. We got some work to do. We're 85,000 fans behind. We are definitely putting a two-bit arena on these guys for one of the next two weeks here. Hell, I'd do for both of that choice. ECW's 30,000 behind us. We could buy our way out of this. I, I should be buying a little bit more talent just because I do have that budget, but... And Bischoff, well, Bischoff is Bischoffing. <laughs> the best way to put it, Bischoff is Bischoffing. Doesn't even have a women's champ anymore because apparently China's gone. I'm assuming that's why that promo didn't work because why would you strip the champ of her title? All right. Um, as per tradition and the fact that they don't have a save point here on this screen, we're going to check out what we got coming up next week. You have lots of work. That's because you made poor choices in the game. Oh, wait, that's me. I mean, yeah. How you doing, Mr. Levy? Hope you're doing well here tonight. Let's go take a look at a rally, North Carolina. Be interested in staying the rest of the season. Cost all you 16K. 16 is fine. Fallon's leaving? She wants a hundred. She wants a hundred. A hundred thousand? Tired, but I found a cheap motel and a comfy bed. Hey. Always take care of yourself first. That's what I say. Fallon, you've been a great person. You got some stamina to you a little bit. You're. She wants 100,000. This is actually going to help me figure something out big time here. Because if she leaves, the women's tag titles are now officially null and void. And that means I can put whatever I want in there for that title match. Oh, you broke in your big... Tr oh. Hey, you know what? Pilot drive is not too bad. Goodbye, Fallon. <laughs> you see that? You see that? Her morale improved after I did that. And she's like, no, I'm going to keep you here. That's fine. All right. Ah, nice try. Told you really hit it off. Thanks for preparing us up. Did you hear the crowd last week? We got our first tag team win. I knew Gunther and I would kill it. Just keep putting us tag matches. We'll keep delivering the ratings. Great working with you, boss. All right. Snap the axle. That sucks. I have one Hell in the Cell match this week and for a contract negotiation that doesn't really matter. Do we even have Hell in the Cell? Oh, we do. I don't need a contract negotiation card, thank you. So look it over this now. I'm not even going to argue. We're going to pick this up without even thinking here. We're doing this before we even worry about it next week, folks. Someone can use that. And we got 19 power cards available. We got the veto. We got 
we're, we're going to throw some vetoes out. I am going to do a two bit arena on raw for the next two weeks because that'll get their attendance numbers down, which will allow us to catch up a fair bit. And if they throw any power cards at me, I have the special promotion card. Those, these things are absolutely golden for me. So, well, with that being said, let's take a look at the roster here quickly. Stamina. So Dom's hurt and Clint's hurt. We, we got him to the rest of the semester here. So everybody looks like they're a little rough right now. We are going to do Scarlet and Blair. And we're going to do a submission match with the two of them. As you can see, it's a specialty for both of them. So that is going to be, well, that's basically going to be our main event next week. We might do Fallon and Ruthless, see if that boosts up a bit. We are going to have to do something with Argus and uh, Argus and Stax. We're probably going to have to get that moving a little bit here. As well as maybe work a little bit with Ilya and uh, Ilya and Seth. We're both running a little bit low on stem. We're going to have to figure this out because we're going to have to balance out a little bit of stamina with a little bit of... Uh, we'll have to get like our Penelope Perfects involved, our Post Malone's involved. Hell, we got to find something to do with the champ here because, well, hell, he is the champ. So let's bring it back to a chat screen here. For those on Twitch, hang around here a bit. I'm going to send a raid here for a bit. For those on YouTube, just want to say thank you to everybody for popping in here. If you like what you see, hit the like button. Hit the uh, hit the subscribe button. And tell us what your favorite match was, what you would like to see differently, who you would like to see us bring in. Because we got three weeks left. We got half a million dollars. Maybe we should go buy some people. But with that being said, thank you for being here, folks. I always appreciate you. And always remember, champs need rivals. That's exactly it. We got to get a rival in. We will get a rival in for the champ. But as always, folks, remember, be part of the solution. And thank you for stopping by the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.